So like I said, I was doing a two-part series on this game, with the first one being about how players and coaches communicate on the court. Well, the second part is showing how LeBron uses his IQ to control the game on the court. If you're an NBA fan, you have probably heard many times how LeBron is like another coach on the floor. And that's exactly right, because he is one. The Lakers are up four, and you can see LeBron pointing at Schroeder to go to the left side of the court. And he directs KCP to the right wing. He then motions for Harold to screen for Schroeder, and if you see this alignment, you have an empty pick and roll, basically meaning there's no one else on that side of the court. And this works as Schroeder runs the pick and roll, he gets an easy layup. So why did LeBron want this to happen? Well on the last play, the Lakers ran the same exact play, and you can see that even though Turner is guarding the pick and roll well, Montrez Harold is where he wants to be. He bangs Turner and then goes up for the and one. So now if you look at the next play, watch Turner. He's more hesitant to help out Holiday on Schroeder because of what happened last time. This allows Schroeder to be one step ahead of Holiday and he gets a layup. After it works the second time, LeBron tells Schroeder to run it again. You can see that it's the same alignment again and notice that the Pacers are told to hedge it which eventually leads to a Schroeder jump shot. Here's another coaching moment. With the game on the line, LeBron wants to put Sabonis in the pick and roll, and the Pacers decide to trap because they don't want LeBron to beat them. This gets Kuzma open in the middle of the floor and he tries challenging Turner at the rim which doesn't work. Now after the Pacers call timeout, notice LeBron telling Kuzma to take a floater next time and he's right. Kuzma is one step ahead of Brogdon and he's challenging Turner who's one of the best big man defenders in the NBA. In Kuzma's defense, that's not really his strong suit as he's only shooting 5 for 18 on driving floaters this year. To put that in perspective, one of the best players at the floater is Emmanuel Quickly who's shooting 39%. And they ran something like this earlier where Kuzma missed a floater, so those are probably all reasons why he decided to challenge Turner at the rim. But those are the type of things LeBron does to help put his teammates in the best position to succeed. One of the other ways the Lakers created offense was from the LeBron post up. On the dead ball, you can see LeBron calling out trap trap. On the inbound, this is exactly what happens, as even with Kuzma going to the other side of the court, Lamb is still waiting to help. So at this very moment, Aaron Holiday is guarding two people, Kuzma and Matthews. Watch what LeBron does. He first fakes the pass to Matthews and then to Kuzma. This freezes Holiday for one second and then he passes the ball to Matthews. This gets him off balance and Matthews is able to beat him on the drive for the and one. And the thing is, LeBron does something like this almost every play. The timing of every pass is really important and he's probably the best in the league at it. So he's pointing at KCP to come around the illegal screen set by Morris. This gets him ahead and once the bonus stunts at KCP, he throws the pass to Morris to get him the most space possible and he nails the three. Here is an example of his patience. So he clearly sees that Harrell has a mismatch with McConnell, but he doesn't throw it to him immediately. There's a lot that can go wrong with him trying to throw it over McConnell and Kuzma has the better angle. But before throwing it to Kuzma, he gets THT in the pick and roll with Turner. This puts Turner's attention on LeBron instead of the pass to Kuzma, and then he throws that pass. Kuzma gets it to Harrell and he gets the layup. LeBron wanted Turner away from the play as much as possible, so putting him in the pick and roll was the best way to do that. Here's LeBron using the pick and roll. So again, he wants to pick and roll with Sabonis because it gives him the most options. Now contrary to popular belief, he's actually watching Aaron Holiday on this play. Notice that as he goes in the air to throw it to Harrell, Holiday takes one step towards Harrell, and LeBron immediately changes course and throws it to Kuzma who makes the three. Part of this is just LeBron being one of the best passers and athletic players of all time, but also some of it is the fact that he's smart enough to recognize what each help defender is doing. This is not something only he does, but what some of the smartest players in the league do as well. Again, he's watching Holiday on this play. He sets his play up by pretending to get McDermott in the pick and roll himself, but Holiday sits there in case he's actually going to use it. Because Holiday's eyes are looking at LeBron, he loses sight of Kuzma who's coming around a Herald screen. LeBron notes this because of Holiday's eyes and he passes it to Kuzma who's open for a 3. So hopefully you guys got a glimpse of how LeBron is able to use his IQ to win games. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.